Here we go. F Factor five. So it still floats out there. <laughs> yes. I was just I was just watching our team play Star Wars Battlefront. Right. Yeah. And then yeah, I, I saw look, it out in the lobby. Yeah, and I look at it. There, it looks yeah. beautiful. Obviously, mm. you guys created space combat the way we imagined it would look after watching the movies, right? Like, they, they really wasn't... Before Rogue Squadron, there wasn't a game that looked like that. And when you first showed us Rogue Leader, I'm like, oh, my God, that's what Star Wars looks like. That's yeah. what the Death Star trench run looks like. No, as, like, a quick aside, uh, I mean, I, I get to... I'm very lucky at this job. I get to interview a lot of people who work on the games that are coming out every single day. Uh, it's not often I get to meet somebody that, like, legitimately influenced the games I was playing all through college. The Rogue <laughs> games were, like... As a huge Star Wars fan, the Rogue mm. games were incredibly important to me. Uh, yeah. So thank you for making those. But also they were they were sort of like these amazing showcases of technology. Uh, I think that you guys were capable of pulling off stuff that we didn't know was even possible on GameCube. And in, in, in many ways also sort of uh, changing the conversation that the GameCube was underpowered and that it would only do cartoony and children's graphics. You, you could know? see, I mean, at the time we saw games like Racer, for example, Episode One Racer. And before that, you know, we saw Shadows of the Empire. That mm -hmm. definitely was a difference when we looked at your game. But so now here we are today. I'm watching uh, Battlefront Space Combat. I'm like, oh, man, that brings back memories of Rogue Leader. And then I look at this machine and there's no Star Wars game on it. I know. Oh, isn't it a shame? Yeah, yeah. I, I think the same. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what about that unreleased game you guys did? What, you oh, Rogue Squad and Wii. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, um, let shall we just say um, it's something which? Oh yeah, right. You dug out the uh, the footage which we released at some point. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's definitely something we, in some way, shape, or form, which would should really come out of the archives. And um, I mean, all of the things that I think prevented that um, back in 2009 when we when we finished the game. Um, should be out of the way nowadays. So I think it's just about the willingness of probably um, us spending some time on it, um, uh, Disney Lucasfilm um, playing along with it, and then probably EA must be a little bit in the mix, but we'll see sure. about that. Yeah, I was going to say, because like obviously Lucas Games, the the company that released uh, all these games. Yeah, Lucas, Lucas Arts. Lucas so Arts, sorry. The I, last uh, one was Lucas Arts. I'm, I'm actually I'm, wearing, I'm, I'm wearing a Maniac Mansion. Nice, hell yeah. Here. So um, I, I used to... <laughs> I played Lucasfilm games, games back in the di day, like yeah. Eidolon and Rescue yeah. and Fractalus and, and all Maniac that. Mansion. Nice. Yeah, this and is Maniac this Mansion. is this is authentic, back from '86. So, so this you, I'm mostly stoked that I can still wear it. <laughs> you said I'm not sure if I'm ready to jump into AAA or if 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 you ever <laughs> want to go back into it. But if you had a dream project and you wanted mm -hmm. to pursue, like, if you said, all right, I'm gonna get the gang back together, we'll get the band back together, <laughs> and we're gonna make a game for Twitch or any console. What what, what would right. you go after? Um, I mean, my my immediate dream would be actually. To to do um, to to first port uh, basically what we had on on um, Rogue Squad and Wii um, to the Switch because the Switch in terms of input um, uh, characteristics is pretty much the only console which would be no we um, so. Um, Rogue Squadron we actually supported every single input device. Um, so in spirit, it was very uh, comparable to um, what Nintendo did um, with uh, Mario Odyssey or um, even more so Mario Kart, actually. It's probably, we took a big inspiration from, from Mario Kart, which even at the time, you could play with the hardcore controller, with the GameCube mm -hmm. controller. But it had motion controls for yes, the lightsabers. And it had, you could play well, it in okay, an alternate for the, mode? For the, for, the, for the lightsabers, the whole uh, subsection with the lightsaber dueling, you could only play um, with a motion plus um, uh, which was the gyro, um, because we needed one-to-one -one mapping. Um, and we actually expanded greatly in terms of the lightsaber um, dueling on what we Sports Resort did, because they did relatively simple blocking and everything. We had force powers in there, um, and we had um, more levels of blocking, so it was a lot more sophisticated uh, than that. Um, and uh, and so um, the, the Switch would be the only um, console really currently in terms of input characteristics where you could port the game to. And then you would, th then you would would really want to get the gang together and probably contact. I mean, they're all around. Um, our our lead artist who did all of the um, who did the the look oh so unbelievably right, um, and basically spent uh, spent half his time at Skywalker Ranch um, designing for George um, on the movies actually, and the other half of the day um, uh, drawing the textures um, for us um, is now at Pixar. So, um, mm. but it's only a, a stone throw away. So right. I'm, I'm sure we could get these guys together and actually do a really nice uprest version. The models uh, still hold up yeah um the highest textures, i mean it was designed for the 480p textures, right um exactly no 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 so um it was it, it it's okay in 1080p um okay. the models still hold up because um it, our highest resolution model actually of the x-wing which we did use 
um, in in the Wii version finally um, because we had enough memory for it. If you got really close with a camera, that was um, uh, I believe almost thirty thousand polygons. Mm. Um, it's in a that single shot. Is it, is it seen mm. in yeah. that cutscene? You guys recreated yes, that. Yes, when, when the camera shot? when yeah. when the we camera we saw that earlier. Um, when the yeah. camera gets yeah, but that that isn't um, that isn't the final um, Wii version which okay. we did. Um, the the final Wii version um, the, the the models hold up so well that you can really drive your camera into the cockpit um, pretty much. I don't think that um, that on those models you you would see much of a difference compared to what what EA created later. What's up, everyone? That was just a quick little snippet of this past week's episode of Nintendo Voice Chat. But if you want to see the whole thing, definitely make sure you go to youtubecom Chat, where we talk a lot more about Doom, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, LA Noir, and of course Rocket League. So for all of your Nintendo-related needs, keep it right here on IGN.